throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be. Of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. Both the Old and New Testaments of the Bible are filled with accounts of terrifying and foreboding figures. Arguably few are quite as chilling as the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Appearing in the Book of Revelation, written by John of Patmos, the Four Horsemen are summoned when the Lamb of God, the Lion of Judah, opens the first four of seven seals of a book or scroll, preceding the time of the Last Judgment. They appear as human, or at least human-like. They are not given names, save but for one, nor are they described as having distinct personalities. Instead, they are embodiments of destructive forces whose sole purpose is to bring about the end of the world. As per the Book of Revelation, the first figure that strode forth upon the breaking of the first seal was a cloaked man atop a white horse, the first horseman. In one hand he carried a bow, and in the other he received a crown. He went forth, conquering as he rode, and onward to conquer all beneath his heel. With this description, he is widely considered the personification of conquest, wide-scale conflict between nations, and the desecration of the status quo. But in contemporary times, this horseman has been called pestilence, and has been linked to bubonic plagues, violence, and has even been interpreted as the Antichrist. Upon the breaking of the second seal came the second horseman. This one rode upon a steed whose coat was fire red in color, and he wielded a great sword in his hand. He had the power and the intent to take peace from the earth, cause humankind to kill one another, cause brother to turn upon brother, and rend entire nations asunder. This rider was seen as the embodiment of war, both physical and spiritual in nature. War between nations, war within nations, war within families and friendships, and war within oneself. Of the four horsemen, the one atop the red horse may be the most outwardly violent of the quartet. But there are more ways to suffer than by the sword. The third horseman, who came whence the third seal was broken, rode upon a black horse, while he himself carried in his hand a balancing scale, and is often depicted in art as being emaciated. This horseman was seen as famine incarnate, spreading starvation and impacting food supply and attainment throughout the world. Unlike the other horsemen, the third horseman's arrival is accompanied by words from one of the living beasts. Though the exact wordage changes between each version of the Bible, the King James edition reads, a measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. This would suggest that as the famine would decimate crops and other sources of food supply, the cost of grain would inflate to astronomical heights, while oil and wine supplies may be left unaffected, though would still be far out of reach. Though not as bloody as the first two horsemen, the third horseman's presence and actions nevertheless lead to widespread excruciating suffering 
by means of hemorrhaging supplies and imperial oppression, leading to starvation on an unprecedented scale. Conquest, war, famine, all leading up to the final horseman. Atop a pale horse came this last horseman, and this John knew to be death himself, the only one of the horsemen to be explicitly named. Though contemporary art features the fourth horseman to carry a large sword or a sickle or scythe in a manner similar to the Grim Reaper and other personifications of death, he was not described as carrying anything within the scriptures. Instead, he was followed by hell itself, and given the authority to a fourth of the earth to kill with sword, with hunger, with pestilence, and with the wild beasts of the earth. With this, the fourth horseman is effectively a culmination of all the awful powers of the three horsemen that came before him. The Book of Revelation is filled with many foreboding elements, and among the most iconic and feared are the four horsemen of the Apocalypse. Though they are ever so briefly mentioned, and little is shown of them committing their acts of desolation and death, they are widely renowned, even outside the Christian faith, as if they themselves have an innate power to strike a deep chord within those who have heard the story. Their ghastly forms, unnerving presence, and chilling way of laying waste to the world by galloping across the horizon make for an ominous feature in an already ominous book. <laughs>